Hi there. <clears throat> I've woken up on the wrong side of the of my bed. I'm in a funk. Like um, I can't keep this up. You know. You know. It's it's not fair on everyone else. Are you okay? You out there? Are you okay? Out there? Are you okay? Out there? Are you okay? All right. So. It's after work, I finished work for the day, it's still pretty early, it's only like 12.30 in the afternoon, so what can I do today to make tomorrow, to make my future self be grateful? What can I do, to, I ask, what can I do today to put me in a better position tomorrow? What will I, what can I do to thank myself tomorrow? So I'm going to go home and cook a nice healthy meal, alright? That's step one. Cook a nice healthy lunch. Make sure my body's in a good shape. It's a bit. Yeah, you know, I've fallen off on a bit with my routine and um, my eating habits. Um, this past week I've really just sort of you know a lot of fast food and um, just spending money on takeaway food. Um, and I'm running low on money and my budget, you know what I mean? And, uh, so I'm probably gonna dip into my savings. So it's just, you gotta be careful because if you've ever read the book, The Compound Effect, he talks about something called momentum. Now we all know what momentum is, but it's the small little um, daily activities, almost tiny, un untraceable, insignificant things that sort of build up who we are and um, you know, things can get away from us if we start slowly, you know, dipping our toes into, you know, destructive habits, behaviors, then if we don't check ourselves, you know, um, eventually that will, it'll build momentum like a snowball rolling down a hill, just gaining more and more snow and eventually we'll be trapped in some sort of cage of bad habits. But the same is true for positive things. So, you know, just little things. Going for a walk, maybe, clear your head. Instead of sitting on the computer or maybe looking at, you know, websites you maybe shouldn't look at. Maybe just get out of the house, put put the technology down and stuff like that. And, um, you know, just over time that becomes who you are and you'll see the effects, the position you'll be in will be much more positive, you know, and, and I don't think anyone wants to be in a negative spot, you know, and, um, that's, that's it, and also, um, associations, who, who are you hanging out with, and what are you allowing your brain to see, see, because whatever we let into our brain, our subconscious takes that on, and it sort of creates our outlook, and we have control, we have to, we have to, we have to feed our subconscious with positive things, you know. Otherwise, you know, we'll, we'll succumb to sort of what's given to us, which is usually um, negative sort of things like the advertising and mainstream media and, um, you know, a lot of drama they promote and sort of unhealthy body image standards and stuff like this. So we need to sort of feed our subconscious mind with, with positivity. And you know, it's all out there, it's on the internet, we've got no excuse, we can do it, we just have to do it, you know? Nothing changes if nothing changes, is what they say. And uh, that's where you gotta be at, you gotta control what you allow yourself to see, read, touch, feel, and who you spend your time with. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you spend your time with five alcoholics, you will become the sixth. If you spend your time with five motocross champions, <laughs> you'll probably become the sixth motocross champion. I don't know about that. But yeah, but that's, you know, you, you know what I mean. That sort of idea. Anyway, I'm going to sign off right here. Take care now. Bye-bye then.